I am not afraid of an army of lions led by a sheep, I am afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. In the end, when it's over, all that matters is what you've done. True love never has a happy ending, because there is no ending to true love. Without knowledge, skill cannot be focused. Without skill, strength cannot be brought to bear and without strength, knowledge may not be applied. Through every generation of the human race there has been a constant war, a war with fear. Those who have the courage to conquer it are made free and those who are conquered by it are made to suffer until they have the courage to defeat it, or death takes them. Bury my body and don't build any monument. Keep my hands out so the people know the one who won the world had nothing in hand when he died. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. I would rather live a short life of glory than a long one of obscurity. Let us conduct ourselves so that all men wish to be our friends and all fear to be our enemies. May God keep you away from the venom of the cobra, the teeth of the tiger, and the revenge of the Afghans. With the right attitude, self-imposed limitations vanish. Oil and risk are the price of glory, but it is a lovely thing to live with courage and die leaving an everlasting fame. Remember upon the conduct of each depends on the fate of all. I am indebted to my father for living, but to my teacher for living well. But truly, if I were not Alexander, I would be Diogenes. I had rather excel others in the knowledge of what is excellent, than in the extent of my power and dominion. Every light is not the sun. The end and object of conquest is to avoid doing the same thing as the conquered. There are so many worlds and I have not yet conquered even one. God must have loved Afghans because he made them so beautiful. There is something noble in hearing myself ill spoken of when I am doing well. Are you still to learn that the end and perfection of our victories is to avoid the vices and infirmities of those whom we subdue? Now you fear punishment and beg for your lives, so I will let you free, if not for any other reason so that you can see the difference between a Greek king and a barbarian tyrant, so do not expect to suffer any harm from me. A king does not kill messengers. On their side more men are standing on ours more will fight. Heaven cannot brook two sons, nor earth two masters. My logisticians are a humorless lot, they know if my campaign fails, they are the first ones I will slay. I do not steal victory. As for a limit to one's labors, I, for one, do not recognize any for a high-minded man, except that the labors themselves should lead to noble accomplishments. A tomb now suffices him for whom the whole world was not sufficient. I am involved in the land of a leonine and brave people, where every foot of the ground is like a well of steel, confronting my soldier. You have brought only one son into the world, but everyone in this land can be called an Alexander. Are there no more worlds that I might conquer? Your ancestors came to Macedonia and the rest of Hellas, Greece, and did us great harm, though we had done them no prior injury. I have been appointed leader of the Greeks and wanting to punish the Persians I have come to Asia, which I took from you. Holy shadows of the dead, I'm not to blame for your cruel and bitter fate, but the accursed rivalry which brought sister nations and brother people, to fight one another. I do not feel happy for this victory of mine. 
On the contrary, I would be glad, brothers, if I had all of you standing here next to me, since we are united by the same language, the same blood, and the same visions. I am dying with the help of too many physicians. We of Macedon for generations past have been trained in the hard school of danger and war. I send you a two fees of mustard seed, that you may taste and acknowledge the bitterness of my victory. I consider not what Parminion should receive, but what Alexander should give. There are no more worlds to conquer. Shall I pass by and leave you lying there because of the expedition you led against Greece, or shall I set you up again because of your magnanimity and your virtues in other respects? Do you not think it a matter worthy of lamentation that when there is such a vast multitude of them, worlds, we have not yet conquered one? At Achilles' tomb, O oh fortunate youth, to have found Homer as the herald of your glory. I foresee a great funeral contest over me. How great are the dangers I face to win a good name in Athens. O oh Athenians, what oil do I undergo to please you? I am not afraid of an army of lions led by a sheep, I am afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. I am indebted to my father for living, but to my teacher for living well. Whatever possession we gain by our sword cannot be sure or lasting, but the love gained by kindness and moderation is certain and durable. You shall, I question not, find a way to the top if you diligently seek for it, for nature hath placed nothing so high that it is out of the reach of industry and valor. I had rather excel others in the knowledge of what is excellent, than in the extent of my power and dominion. How happy had it been for me had I been slain in the battle! It had been far more noble to have died the victim of the enemy than fall a sacrifice to the rage of my friends. A tomb now suffices him for whom the whole world was not sufficient. How great are the dangers I face to win a good name in Athens! Shall I, that have destroyed my preservers, return home? So far as I am concerned, I could not be accused of having set eyes, or having wished to set eyes, upon Darius' wife. On the contrary, I have refused even to listen to those who spoke to me of her beauty. I wish that the Indians believed me a god, for upon the report of an enemy's valor oftentimes depends the success of a battle, and false reports have many times done as great things as true courage and resolution. Who does not desire such a victory by which we shall join places in our kingdom, so far divided by nature, and for which we shall set up trophies in another conquered world? My father will anticipate everything. He will leave you and me no chance to do a great and brilliant deed. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. When we give someone our time, we actually give a portion of our life that we will never take back. I am not afraid of an army of lions led by a sheep, I am afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. When we give someone our time, we actually give a portion of our life that we will never take back. Through every generation of the human race there has been a constant war, a war with fear. Those who have the courage to conquer it are made free and those who are conquered by it are made to suffer until they have the courage to defeat it, or death takes them. An army of sheep led by a lion is better than an army of lions led by a sheep. Upon the conduct of each depends on the fate of all. 
there is nothing impossible to him who will try. Each moment free from fear makes a man immortal. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.